So today I'm going to talk a little bit about Joseph, uh, how everything he did, it always came out to the best. Like he went through a lot of stuff. I get a lot of encouragement out of that. So I'm going to read some in Genesis 30, 39. Uh, so now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt and Potiphar, the officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian brought him down from the Ishmaelites, whom he had taken down from there. The Lord was with Joseph, and he was a successful man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. So Joseph found favor in his sight and served him. Then he made him overseer of his house, and all that he had he put under his authority. So it was from the time that he had made him overseer of the house and all that he had. So here was someone that, like Potiphar, his master, I don't even think he believed in the Lord, but he saw right away that Joseph, that he knew God and he served God, and that made him trust him. To, and I guess that can ha that can be like in the world today, like people, they can right away tell if you believe in God and if you don't, and they actually trust you more than they do the other. And yeah, and said, so, and the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake, and the blessing of the Lord was with all that he had, and in the house and in the field. Thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand and did not know that he had except for the bread which he ate. He even blessed the Egyptian's house because of Joseph. So, yeah, that's kind of amazing. And we all know that when the Pharaoh's wife tried to get with Joseph and so he fled from her and then she switched everything around to where she went to jail and he ended up there and then verse 20 said and then joseph's master took him and put him in the prison a place where the king's prisoners were confined and he that was there in the prison but the lord was with joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison and the keeper of the prison committed to joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison whatever they did there he even was a prisoner and went to prison and ended up taking care of all the prisoners. So he was like, it's kind of amazing there that he even was in charge of the prisoners there. And, the, and in 23, and the keeper of the prison did not look into anything that he had under Joseph's authority because the Lord was with him and whatever he did, the Lord may prosper. Like they didn't even check what he did with any of them like so and then that's it going over to chapter 41 is verse 37 so so the advice was good in the eyes of pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servant and pharaoh said to his servant can we find such a one as this the man in whom the Spirit of God, when the, and then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Inasmuch as God has shown you all this, there is one as discerning and wise as you. He shall be over my house, and all my people shall be ruled according to your, your word. Only in regard to the throne will I be greater than you. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand. And he clothed him with garment and fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. And he had him ride in the second chariot, which he had. And they cried out before him. Bow the knee, he set him over all the land of Egypt. I just kind of hard to imagine being betrayed by your brothers and going all through this and never never even like wonder or get discouraged well he maybe got discouraged sometimes but he always 
stayed faithful and ended up even ruling over it ruling over Egypt when there was a famine he took care of all the everything that was around like he got set over everything and so yeah it was I was getting encouragement out of his reading his story and no matter what happens God's there and the same God that was there with him is going to be that was there with us today still <clears throat> I guess that even goes to uh, in Matthew 25, verse 21. It says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You are faithful in a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Right? And the servant, the talents were given to the servants. They all, the two of them went out and did, they, they multiplied the talents. And I believe that's what Joseph did when he was there. Like he, took his talents and he put them to use and that's a challenge today even for me to go and do like go and put the talents to use I mean yeah it's easy to just stay in the comfort zone that's the thing I struggle most with is just staying in the comfort zone and not getting out to do stuff like you should so yeah that's just an encouragement I always get out of that and and it's best, probably the most rewarding thing again was when Jacob came down to see Joseph. He never, never would have probably thought he would see him again. Then finding out he was there, so that was yeah, and a great reward.